Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to be going over the norm dist and norms dist function in Google Sheets. Uh, you use these functions when you want to answer questions that are centered around uh, a population that you have that's normally distributed. Uh, I'm going to set up a problem here along the lines of dice rolls. So what I have here is I've used the ram between function. Uh, so it's going to have a lower limit of 1 and an upper limit of 6. So it's going to give me some simulated die rolls. I'm going to take six of those, and then I'm going to get a total. And then I'm going to average up those totals of all these simulations. So you have 20 simulations. And uh, theoretically, it should go to 21, but this is pretty close. And since it's only 20 simulations, um, we're going to get some variation. It would be 21 because each die is expected to roll 3.5. And when you multiply that by 6, you get 21. And then here's just the standard deviation of those totals as well. I'm going to go ahead and actually copy and then paste those values just so they don't keep changing. And so the, the questions we want to answer are, what's the chance of rolling 28 with 6 die or higher? So if we remember our standard, our normal distribution here, uh, one standard deviation below and above, we've got about 68% of the values. And then oh, it's two standard deviations, it's roughly 95% is within two standard deviations, et cetera. So the norm dist function is going to take into account the average and the standard deviation. It's going to find out where we are on this curve. And then it's going to find uh, the integral, so it's going to find out how much area under the curve uh, is up to that value. Uh, so in this case, uh, under the whole curve is 1. So if we find, so in this case, 28, it's about two standard deviations from the mean here. So it's going to be about here. And then it'll say about 0.95, and we're actually take one minus that because we actually want to find uh, the values higher than 28. So it would actually be this tail of the distribution. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do norm dist, and what you put in there is x, which is the value that you're interested in. So in this case, it's 28. The mean uh, here we've got the mean calculated there. The standard deviation we have there. And then cumulative means it's going to take the sum of the curve up until a certain point, so it's cumulative. So we're going to do that. And like I said, we're going to do 1 minus that because we actually want uh, the right side tail here. And we're calculating that, so it's about, and if I change this to percent, Oops. So it's about a 1.9% chance of getting a 28 or higher. What's the chance of rolling 28 specifically? Again, we're going to use a function very similar to that. Or actually, we're going to use the norm dist function again. Sorry. We're going to put 28. We're going to put all the values the same except for that last value which is the cumulative we're going to put in false. And so the chance of rolling a 28 specifically is 1.29%. Uh, so we knew it was going to be uh, less than 28 or higher, uh, and now we know what that is specifically. So rolling a 29 or higher is, is very low probability, you can see. So the norm disks so there's also the norm dis. So there's a slight difference here. So this one uses uh, a z value. So a z value is just how many standard deviations above or below the mean that the interested value is. So we would calculate that by, so we want 28. Actually, we gotta put parentheses around this. So we're gonna do 28 minus the average, and then divide by the standard deviation. So that would give us our z-score uh, for 28. 
So then we can use the norms dist using that z score. And we'll do one minus that to replicate uh, the value you got here. And you can see if I do the percentage and format it the same, we get the same value. So basically, if you already have the z value, you can use the norms dist function. Uh, if you want to uh, just put in the average and the, the uh, standard deviation, then you can allow uh, Google Sheets or Excel to calculate that for you. All right. That's how you use the norm dis or norms dist function in Google Sheets. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you very much.